My name is Rahul Bus. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists. Interventional cardiology is one of the specialties in cardiology itself, dealing primarily with the heart arteries and the vasculature of the body. A lot of times patients are in the midst of a heart attack or coming to the hospital with concerns about a heart attack and we have to evaluate whether they're having a heart attack or not. They come in, they're in extreme pain, they're in extreme shortness of breath, and a little over an hour or two, they're comfortable, relaxed, no longer in pain. We have a saying when it comes to treating heart attacks is that time equals muscle. What we are able to do now is provide that service 24 hours a day. People have heart attacks. We're here and available 24-7. I had a quadruple bypass at Christa Santa Rosa New Braunfels about three and a half months ago. I was having some symptoms of shortness of breath, nothing major, nothing predictable, and the cardiologist felt that uh, we ought to have an angiogram, which we had and possibly there might have to be a stent. We are able to do every single one of our procedures through a small hole, either in the top of the leg or in the wrist. We start out by accessing an artery in the leg. Uh, we run wires and catheters up around to the top of the heart. We take diagnostic pictures of both the front side and the back side of the heart. When they wake up, they usually have one, maybe two band-aids on the leg. I didn't think it could happen to me. And I found myself going through the stress tests, etc. And first thing I knew, I was in the hospital with a catheter process. Krista Santa Rosa offers a comprehensive cardiac rehab program. That means that we do all four phases of cardiac rehab and we're a nationally certified cardiac rehab center. Patients that undergoing open heart surgery, a heart attack, or stents from our hospital will typically start outpatient cardiac rehab within two weeks. When I first came, I couldn't walk but a few feet without becoming out of breath. I drive a sports car that sits very low to the ground. Uh, when it was time to be able to go back to driving again, I suggested, well, maybe I need to get a rent-a-car for a few weeks until I'm able to get into that low position. Everyone at rehab said, no, that's not, that's not the way we're going to go. We're going to teach you how to get in and out of the car. Many people are a little concerned with their first rehab visit, not knowing what they're going to do or what's going to be expected of them. But one thing that we really try to communicate is that we meet the patient right where they are. And I was having quite a lot of difficulty and not feeling well for several months. The cardiovascular unit there at the hospital is absolutely top drawer, in my opinion. It didn't matter who walked into that room. They knew what they were doing and they did it with efficiency and it was taken care of. They made it not painful and not scary by their attitude. My favorite thing about cardiac rehab is just really being able to walk alongside a patient and their family, go through a very scary situation and come out of it even better and in better shape than they were before. That's the whole purpose of cardiovascular rehabilitation is to restore quality of life even at a higher level than it was before you had the surgery and I can say that that is exactly what's happened. There's less than a hundred certified centers in Texas and we're blessed to have one of them here in New Braunfels. For a town as small as this is in reality we do a lot of great work here. Get some help first. Learn what's making you feel so tired. Get it done. Don't take a chance on possibly having a heart attack or a stroke.